Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again. So in the previous video we pieced everything together and we learned what is the ultimate pattern to unleashing the full power of dependency injection as a concept, which is composition root. So composition root in, in a recap is basically a concept to centralize the entire creation of the object graph, not just creation, but like um, some components should also be relevant to um, composition root because like, as in the example, we don't want logout to be dependent on profile and profile to be dependent on initial view controller or like vice versa. So it's just the responsibility of the composition root to piece everything together. Today we will be learning um, not the anti-pattern, but uh, I believe this uh, concept is also important and we will touch upon um, constructor over injection code smell. Even though it's a code smell, I believe it um, also highlights some of the problems in your current design. So again, uh, we're having a profile view controller as an example, and um, let's uh, look at the code first and then we'll see what's going on in the simulator. So again, we have an avatar image loader, user loader, and favorites manager. So favorites manager just um, loads list of favorite animals. So favorite animal just has an ID and name and it's concrete type, which is stored favorites manager, just loads three animals with like different IDs, doesn't matter. And then uh, it loads dog names, um, Jack, Charlie, and Cooper. And um, the profile view controller itself has a table view. And then um, in a table view, we register itself, uh, we conform to the delegate and data source protocols. And then whenever we fetch a um, list of favorites, we just um, like hold reference to all of those um, models uh, in the view controller. And then in viewed load, we just fetch all of them. Um, if the request succeeds, we just set our property so that table view updates itself and then shows a um, list of docs in a table view. And then whenever we fetch them successfully, we log. And then if it fails, we um, log the error, of course. And um, as you can see, there's a lot of logging here. We will touch up on that as well. We lay out everything here and then uh, in the delegate and data source protocol implementation, we just um, return the count of animals that we receive and then we just decode the cell with the identifier, set the name and then log again to the console. So let me run the app first. And the app is pretty simple, it loads the avatar, loads user data, it has a logout button, it does nothing right now, but uh, we're not very concerned about that. And then um, whenever we tap on Jack, Charlie, Cooper, nothing happens, but like we um, show them um, in the table view right now. So what's exactly a problem here? The problem here is that the constructor, as the name implies, constructor over injection, is getting larger and larger, but first, Let's um, focus our attention on logging. Remember that in ambient context, logging um, um, is a cross-cutting concern and it can kind of invade your entire code base because you want to log on every action of the user whenever the view loads, whenever some service loads or fails with error. And um, this is kind of pervasive in code bases. So um, since we are invoking log method directly, um, and it's, it's basically implicit because now we're injecting it via initializer. So let's inject a closure to log um, uh, something to the screen. So basically uh, log requires um, a string and returns void, right? This is the um, ultimate closure that we need. Let's say we would create a logger, right? So it would take a string and return void. Okay, uh, now we are holding reference to the logger and then instead of invoking these things directly, let's um, use the logger itself with, the, with this message. And yeah, uh, instead of using uh, the log method on log directly, we are just um, using the, our closure that we defined. All right, um, and then let's do the same thing for every logging that we have in the, in the screen. Yeah, um, we are done with just getting rid of the global um, access, accessing the log method globally. And then the part that's broken is scene delegate. So we have to inject the logger here and we can simply inject the log method like this. 
awesome yeah the app is uh, building right now if i run the app again you can easily see that things are popping in the console and um, this is it that we have right now so looking at the at the constructor of the profile view controller it's actually getting larger and larger as we add dependencies to it so this is a clear sign that we are doing something wrong and it's very obvious because this view controller is already 172 lines um, long and this is very easy to become like it's very easy for us to make this a massive view controller that exists in the industry and it is it is not just a problem of a massive uh, like mvc that stands for a massive view controller but it's like something else that's going on here so first of all let's see that the profile view controller needs avatar loader user loader and favorites manager so that it could render something in on the ui right and then um, it also has the logger and then the closure to show the next screen so um, since we have five parameters that are injected in the profile view controller it's a clear sign that we this this class is doing basically too much and we have to somehow split it so that it's um, less complex it's easier to understand it it's easier to test it uh, for for example if we were to test this view controller we would have to inject five um, um, mock objects or like spies or stubs like first of all we would have to create some um, test implementations for avatar image loader user loader and favorites manager and the test itself would become um, very large so um, first of all what we can do here by looking at the constructor to kind of a lift up the responsibility from the view controller is that um, since it loads different stuff and then it has to set the um, UI elements correctly, we better centralize all of the uh, models into a single model. So first of all, load image on avatar loader basically loads a UI image, which is, which is an optional one. And then the user that we load is actually a user that has like two, two, um, two properties. And the favorite animal also has two properties. So what we should be doing is to create some sort of a profile model. which aggregates everything for us, like avatar image, which is UI image, and then the um, favorite animals, animals, which is array of favorite animal. And then we also need um, user, which is um, user, right? The exact same struct. So we do not need each of the models separately, but like profile view controller um, just needs everything uh, together pieced together so um, instead of using three different protocols we better define a single protocol that would um, return us exact same model instead of returning three of them differently so let's create a protocol profile profile model service let's say so we have a profile model service and the method to fetch profile data which has a completion block escaping result profile model or error because it can fail and yeah this is the only thing that we require right now instead of holding three dependencies we better hold a single dependency so um let's create um let, let's just inject this one and then we would see how the code would change itself so let's say instead of having these three we would have a uh, profile service which is profile model service then we better inject just this one right all right now constructor is getting smaller and smaller and the problem that we had earlier was like basically due to um view controller doing like communicating with too many services this is like one um solution to this problem so instead of using avatar image loader user loader and favorites manager let's use profile service and fetch profile data we just get the result let's copy here like profile model wikify self to prevent retain cycle and then um, we would just set whatever we need all right, so we are just using a single method to fetch everything that we need, and then we can get rid of all of this. Yeah, code is getting less complex, and um, 
yeah, we, we are kind of reducing complexity um, as we go. But like the question comes, so who should implement the profile model service? So it should be the, the class that would combine all of the three requests. requests. We can create um, aggregate, you, you can name it whatever you want. And then um, it would just conform the same protocol. It would hold reference to the um, avatar loader, which is avatar image loader. It would also have reference to the user loader and it also have reference to the favorites manager. And yeah, this is the constructor that we have here. And then what we would do is to use avatar loader and we would use avatar loader to load image, image, we wikify self, and then we load user loader and we, we load the user and then again, we load favorites. We switch over the result. And then we actually complete um, with the profile model. So we create a profile model here to the image user and favorites. And then we just forward it to the to the profile view controller. So in a failure case, we would just forward the um, error forward, further, I mean. Yeah, um, this would be our kind of aggregate that would aggregate three classes and the part that's broken again, the scene delegate. So we would not have these three, but we would have profile service as a Profile service aggregate, which requires loader, fake user loader, and stored favorites manager. Yeah, just format it a little bit. And let's run the app and see. So, um, app is working like the same. Um, we are loading the avatar image, and then we are loading the username and email, and then we are loading favorite animals. So um, this is kind of a strategy on how to deal with constructor over injection um, code smell. So it's a code smell, it's not an anti-pattern, because um, if you start lifting everything up, it would clearly show you that like what it would sh clearly show you whether your class is doing too much or not. Since we had like five dependencies injected into the view controller, it was pretty much um, obvious that we, this class is doing basically too much and we have to somehow split responsibilities into um, different classes. So as you can see, instead of profile view controller communicating with avatar image loader, user loader and favorites manager, it just holds a reference to a single um, service, which is like profile model service, name it whatever you want. And um, it has like a single model to aggregate everything that we need in the view controller instead of communicating with three services one by one. And the aggregate just like combines everything together. Uh, regarding um, this arrow code here, um, this is just like a basic implementation. We could use dispatch groups to um, send requests in parallel or like load things in parallel. Um, this is just like for some for like for keeping the video simple I've just like chained them one by one and I believe this would be it for this video um, constructor over injection is, is is a code smell it's not an anti-pattern and it can clearly show you that you are doing something wrong in your components if the constructor is getting larger and larger as you develop your app and this is a clear sign that you have to split your classes into smaller classes that easier that easier to test, easier to maintain, easier to understand, easier to refactor in the future. So um, this is a very simple example and I hope you can kind of uh, get some idea of how we can actually fix the problem and move on. And uh, this is it for this video and thanks a lot for watching.